one's a long one, so I'm coming at you as a mouse. But I have to keep the, my finger pressed on the uh, little gizmo here, and I'm, I'm trying to figure out a way to make it really comfortable for me because I am a mouse, and it's really heavy to hold this phone. The poem we're talking about is uh, posted Sunday, May the 2nd, 2021. It is anachronism number 3,223. It's called Small Thoughts on Big Distance. I ask, this is me always asking, how we might hold on to the moment. This is me always responding. And I respond just like how we're holding on to this moment, like prawns slung from rafters, their little brain bulb reeking havoc on the magic of the theater as they concentrate it all within the last few fan fins of their tails, which are magically gripping the rafters while hanging suspended, but never falling or always falling. Yes, always falling. My answer is their answer. Always falling every single moment, and I wonder how we might hold, might even hold, onto each other from opposing hemispheres. Same body, you, always, same body, same body, I, almost catch the optic, the cloak, the op cloak of optimal. I wonder without asking or thinking because it's trouble. You even hear me say, or know I think anything, but the limitless possibilities. Maybe you are the only one who can know is how you make me ecstatic proclaiming from all distances. Only you can, only you will, it'll be you teaching me. Imagine, 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 imagine. Imagination is possibility times power times you times me and maybe only you, maybe only me. I think maybe only you and me and we are all, even imagine the hundreds of thousands of millions of miles we are my hand from your all-knowing grasp. It is this, really, about optimism. If not about you or me or anything else in and out of the world or the many, 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 many worlds of others that float through and toward and between and back and forth as if to taunt me at what's so easy for them, so easy for them, so impossible. Possible. It's impossible probable. Hopeful, hope and hope and hope. And I watch the sounds and say the words until they come back to me. They come back to eat me. Look now, it's happening for me and for you. Do not include me in this, but you without me, you without me. Mouth of my black gaping ca cavernous echoing eclipse of a cradle, a spindle, a cradle. Oops. The look you convey is always yes. It is yes and yes and yes, 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 you idiot. Like how I am always suiting and contorting for the upping and the an of the ante. That is, I literally think, isn't this when we up the ante? I literally think. I literally think until I think I am thinking I'm nothing but exit, exist, or exits. Exis. Axis? Axes? So now I suit up for the upping or the downing. How can I hear you? How can I hear you? How uh, How can I hear you? How can I hear you say? How can I hear? Can I hear you say the upping of the other upping of or the downing uh, of the down or the up of the up or just or just the upping? Look at us. We are never together apart, never a part of but all of together all together, always, always together, always, 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 like I literally think, how one hemisphere always cradles the other in its long and laving tendril, trembling, still formulating long and laving chalk-dusted loving arms, like how one hemisphere always gently cradles the other in its long and loving arms. We, master of us, our heart's space, our minds tendon, our minds tend, and that, that keeps us we. And keeping we us, and keeping we us, and keeping we us. We must, we must, we nothing but dust. I will think like you until my head is no longer my head, nor was ever, never, nor ever will be, always, always, loving only one. What it is that when combined or put together or kept apart, we become as one, like how one always cradles the other, like 
how one always gently unfurls its long and loving, always craven arms and cradles the other. Like how one hemisphere always gently cradles the other. A curl of curds of further softer curls, a soft and incomplete and never finished head of thick and wavy and matter of fact, matter of universe hair. Our being at cradles now being a being that can and only the only being that will, like one hemisphere that presses gently the other hemisphere until their hearts their hearts combine and to touch and mirror as if to demonstrate all of the extra possibilities that are always left when and as and how and when and when and how and as and how how one sphere and one sphere are always magically holding each other up and apart and up and at it how and like like and how the one hemisphere is always no matter the cost, no matter the risk, ever so gently cradling the other, and it's long and viscous and elaborate and infinite and timeless, porous and gaseous and armored and boundless, unbounded, no boundaries, arms. Sweet, huh?